Linux file system hierarchy question and answers. 1. What is stored in each of the following paths? Slash bin, slash sbin, slash usr, slash bin and slash usrs bin, slash etc, slash home, slash var, slash tmp. 2. What is special about the slash tmp directory when compared to other directories? Answer for this question is. The global temporary directories are slash tmp and slash var slash tmp. Typically, slash var slash tmp is for persistent files, as it may be preserved over reboots, and slash tmp is for more temporary files. 3. What kind of information one can find in slash proc? Can you create files in slash proc? Answer for this question is. Proc file system, procfs, is virtual file system created on fly when system boots and is dissolved at time of system shutdown. It contains the useful information about the processes that are currently running, it is regarded as control and information center for kernel. We cannot create files or folders in slash proc. 4. In which path can you find the system devices, for example block storage? lsblk O name, type, size, model. 5. Running the command df you get command not found. What could be wrong and how to fix it? Answer for this question is. Most likely the default slash generated dollar path was somehow modified or overridden thus not containing slash bin slash where df would normally go. This issue could also happen if bash underscore profile or any configuration file of your interpreter was wrongly modified, causing erratic behaviors. You would solve this by fixing your dollar path variable. As to fix it there are several options. 1. Manually adding what you need to your dollar path path equals dollar path slash user slash bin colon slash dot dot etc. 2. You have your weird end variables backed up. 3. You would look for your distro default dollar path variable, copy paste using method number 1. Note, there are many ways of getting errors like this, if bash underscore profile or any configuration file of your interpreter was wrongly modified, causing erratic behaviors, permissions issues, bad compiled software, if you compiled it by yourself, there is no answer that will be true 100% of the time. 6. How do you schedule tasks periodically? Answer for this question is. You can use the commands cron and at. With cron, tasks are scheduled using the following format. Star slash 30 star 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 bash my script dot sh executes the script every 30 minutes. The tasks are stored in a cron file, you can write in it using cron tab e. Alternatively if you are using a distro with systemd it's recommended to use systemd timers. 7. How to check which commands you executed in the past? Answer for this question is history command or dot bash underscore history file. Please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.